It's all changed at Mercedes this year as Lewis Hamilton is joined by George Russell. After the summer break, it was announced that Russell would be replacing Valtteri Bottas, who is moving to Alfa Romeo. But could the addition of the young and title-hungry Russell prove to be a headache for Mercedes and Hamilton? As we all know, Bottas was a great driver, but he never really posed a threat to Hamilton. But the previous driver at Mercedes, Nico Rosberg, did. For around three seasons in Formula One, there was an intra-team battle between Hamilton and Rosberg as they fought for wins and titles. Famously, their rivalry became so intense that on three occasions, those being Belgium 2014, Spain 2016 and Austria 2016, the pair collided on track. And this led team boss Toto Wolff to consider suspending one of them. Now, according to recent rumours and speculation, people are predicting that we could see a repeat of Hamilton and Rosberg as Russell joins the team. In an interview last October with the Daily Mail, Russell was fired a warning by Wolf ahead of joining Mercedes. He told the paper, This is Mercedes. We have no place for the genius jerk. Even a superstar driver has to respect team values. But with Lewis, we've been eight years together now. He's not an arrogant, spoiled little kid. He's a mature racer who has won seven titles, six with us, so we can take those moments. It's part of our role to be a trash bin for the driver sometimes. Wolf added, In the early years, I would bite back at Lewis. He was very young and I had to make the point that I wouldn't allow the driver to badmouth the team. But we've moved on from there. Still, I wouldn't hesitate in the future if a driver talked bad about the team or wasn't appropriate, I would first deal with it internally and if that didn't yield results, I would then take the driver out the car. George Russell is another intelligent young man. He will slot into the team, but that doesn't mean he has to hold back when driving. You can't expect a lion in the car and a puppy out of it. But there are certain boundaries within the team that must be respected and George knows them very well. Once the lights are green, only the drivers are responsible. I can't interfere, manage or remote control them, but one thing is of ultimate importance. Don't touch. That's your responsibility. You can race hard, but no contact. I've been there before with Nico when it wasn't just a rivalry. There was a lot of animosity and that's not going to happen. This is about showing respect for each other and it can be hard because if you race on the same spot on the racetrack, you will eventually come across each other. But there is an integrity we expect that no one is ever bigger than the team. Around a week ago, I asked some of you whether you thought that Russell would pose a threat to Hamilton. Looking at the results now, over a thousand of you voted and 69% of you said yes, whilst only 31% said no. But despite the speculation, it does appear that Russell doesn't want to upset the apple cart. Speaking to the F1 Nation podcast last year, Russell said, I think there's a lot of respect between Lewis and I. I think we're in very different stages of our career. Lewis is the guy, he is for a reason. He's the greatest of all time. I think we go in there and we need to help each other because in 2022, the cars are just going to be developing so much race after race. It's not who has the quickest car at race one, it's who has the quickest car throughout the whole season. And as drivers, we need to work together with the team to move us forward as one, and that's what's going to be the key. Hamilton, however, is slightly more wary. While he thinks that Russell will be respectful, he thinks he'll be pushed to the limits. Hamilton told the BBC, You've seen George is hugely respectful. He's a super talented young man and I think there's a huge amount of respect already going in and we've got a nice balance at the moment. But he's going to want to be quick. He's going to want to show up and win and do all those things that you do when you enter a new role. I remember in 2007 when I went up against Fernando Alonso. Of course I wanted to beat him at the first race so I appreciate and expect George to have that mentality. Otherwise, he's not a winner, you know? But I'm in a different place. I really want to see him succeed. There's going to be a point where I don't continue in this sport. 
and he's my teammate and he's going to be the next Brit that I want to see win a world championship. So while we are going to be competing and I want to win on track, I really hope I can have a positive influence on how he conducts himself within the team. Whether it's the time he commits to engineering or how he churns through the data or even just how he drives on the track. Who do you think will have the upper hand next year? In my opinion, Russell could be a real threat. We saw in Bahrain in 2020 that Russell has no problem challenging his fellow Mercedes teammate. And both he and Hamilton will also be aware of the risk that Max Verstappen poses. But let me know what you think in the comments below. If you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more content in the future. I don't know about you, but I'm getting really excited for the 2022 season already. Until next time, bye.